Next, we have an excerpt from an Artist Ford feature story. This one is another where real people share their experiences in hope that it would help others. Now, this story is about people who use forestry consultants and ended up dramatically increasing the timber income from their property. This story first aired on Farm Week in 2002. An artist says it has the best line ever said to him in an interview. We don't know anything about timber. It was out there, and we don't know anything about it. So if they, if, if they want to get paid for it, that's exactly what they need to do is get a consultant. It was a life changing expense. I went from borrowing money to loaning money. Selling timber isn't usually termed a life-changing experience, but that's the way Mamie Carpenter and her husband Grady describe it. In 1997, the Carpenters wanted to sell 500 acres of timber located in Carroll County. While Mr. Carpenter was an experienced cattleman, he knew little about timber. One timber buyer made the Carpenters an initial offer, but fortunately, Grady Carpenter did not accept it. And we went and hired a consultant. And he got us, uh, oh, seven times, a little better seven times what we had ever been offered for it. Yes, the Carpenters received seven times their initial offer. That would have never happened except they first got in touch with Extension Service Forester Tim Troggett of Mississippi State University. During his visit to the land, Troggett saw the Carpenters' timber was worth much more than the initial offer indicated. It took Target some time, but he convinced Grady Carpenter the timber was worth hiring a private forestry consultant to conduct a seal bid sale. I couldn't believe that uh, that I had that kind of money out there on that old place, because I'd been with it there all my life, you know, or 40-something years, and I had no idea there was that kind of money out there on that main place. I really didn't. And uh, I, owe, I owe him an awful lot for getting me started on the right track. Extension Forester Troggett says when a consultant conducts a timber sale for a landowner, it's not unusual for the bids to at least double the initial offers. And when the timber procurement foresters or timber buyers are dealing with the consultant, they know he knows just as much about that timber, and, they, and, and it kind of levels that field out, and they know he's not going to sell it for less than it's worth. Okay, we're not airing that whole feature, but there you heard it, gentlemen. Mr. Carpenter, I went from borrowing money to loaning it. And that's a good position to <laughs> be in. That's a good in. line, borrowing to loaning. <laughs> uh, one of the best I ever heard. For sure. <laughs> well, joining us now is Troy Mulling. Now, Troy is going to be Artist Ford's replacement after he retires. And, Troy, you're no stranger to broadcasting or the Mid-South. That's right. Thanks, guys, for, uh, for having me. Yeah, I've been in the TV business for a little over 14 years now. From Memphis, spent my first... I won't say how long, over 10 years in the Memphis market though, and for the last couple have been working in Missouri, doing meteorology and also some reporting as well. So is there a chance we'll see some meteorology on Farm Week in the future? Might be fun to add a little bit of a weather segment, because I mean, so much of agriculture, weather is, they go hand in hand a lot of times, so it might be fun to kind of meld the two together from time to time. And those meteorology credentials we might mention are from Mississippi State. That's right, uh, certified broadcast meteorologist through Mississippi State. And uh, you just moved here and uh, I know you're getting accustomed to what mm -hmm. we do and uh, we look forward to having you on the road. Well, with us. I, I look forward to, uh, to, to co-hosting the show with you. Uh, congrats, of course, to Artis for his, for his retirement. He's been showing me the ropes for the uh, last couple weeks and uh, ready to get started and gonna have a really fun show and uh, hope to introduce some new segments as well, gonna be a good time. Did we mention, well, I guess we did, that okay, about well, got you got to dye your hair red? And that's, <laughs> that, that's true, I've got an appointment with the salon uh, later this week. It's gonna be bright red. Uh, not quite sure if folks will be able to tell us apart. Well, but, you know, that's yeah. just, you know, we're trying to get some continuity going it got, it, it, You gotta have the continuity, come on, gotta have that. <laughs> but, uh, but Troy is an experienced storyteller. He's done uh, mm -hmm. many packages, most recently in Missouri, but mm -hmm. uh, look forward to your contributions. Well, I, I look forward to it too, and thanks again. What, uh, I mean, when you heard about the job, what, mm -hmm. what interested you? Well, I love that it's, it's uh, See, when I first heard of it, I thought, what a great way to combine some aspects that I really love as far as uh, reporting, being creative, and maybe trying to add in a little bit of weather into that as well. And uh, also, I think it's great to, uh, 
to uh, inform people as far as uh, agriculture, farming, helping with that whole lifestyle aspect of uh, their day-to-day -day life as well. Well, I'll say this, if you'll go out there and just the meeting people, and, and I'm a curious person, just going out and finding out what they're doing, uh, that to me is, is the joy of the job. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just great meeting the people around the state. Again, we want to say welcome to Troy Moling, who will be joining me each and every week here on Farm Week starting next week. Appreciate it. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I think you're going to do well. Well, thank you, and good luck in retirement to you. Thank you.